Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. I was going to do my head shave yesterday, but I've got a couple of little spots just here. In fact, you can probably just see them. They're still there, but not quite as pronounced today, so I'm going to try and get away with it. So I'm going to do my head shave first today, and then move on to face shave afterwards, which I normally do vice versa. So, let's see how we go. Soap for today is Ogallala Bay Rum with Sweet Orange, I think it is. Yep, Bay Rum and Sweet Orange Shaving Stick. Very, very clean set of ingredients in here, other than what sounds a bit titanium dioxide. I like titanium, but I don't know what the hell titanium dioxide is. But other than that, everything else in there looks pretty good to me. Beautiful. Right, now the scent on this smells great. It smells like a really nice Bay Rum. Since drinks about a four or a five, but you just get this real nice sweet orange just in the background. But you do smell it, so it is it's pronounced, but it's in the background. It's not the, the main scent in there. The clove is obviously the, the main sort of bay rum scent, but it smells superb. And as you can see, it's in a shaving stick here. You just twist it like a deodorant or a glue stick. It looks a bit like a glue stick and it just pops up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wet my head. Just had a shower, so let's just see how they go. And today, I'm not going to use my mirror over there. Actually, I'll go for the ladder. Just so I can see the back of my head for the ladder, but I'm actually going to turn around today and show you guys me shaving the back of my head. Stephen the Suffolk Shaver has asked for it, and I think he watched Kyle from Brown Man Shaves do it. I've done it before, I've done it a few times before, but I prefer this now that I can see just over here, in that mirror just over there, I can see the back of my head, which is great for actually doing my own head shave. I can see over there, no problem, and see what parts of the soap are still there. But for today, we'll, we'll do it differently. Right, so I've wet my head. I'm just gonna dip the soap in the water, and then just rub it all over my head, and hopefully this works. Definitely seems to be doing something. The soap's definitely getting shorter there. I'm just going to push out a little bit more. So I'm not rubbing the plastic on my head. Now, at this stage, I can't smell anything, which is a bit disappointing. I like to smell soap. Then again, once you lather it, it does expand the scent a little bit, gets it flowing a bit. And the good thing with these shaving sticks is it's a bit like a almost sort of softens the hairs a bit and gets things going for you before you actually start. Right, I think I've actually got loads of soap on there, way more than probably what I need, but let's just see how we go. Okay, the brush for my head shave today is the Magart Granite. Same brush that Kyle over at Brown Man Shaves uses. That's his main go-to brush. It is his only brush at the moment that he uses. He used to use his Simulk 1305, but I don't blame him. But for the price, this is a superb brush. So I'm going to shake out most of the excess and there we go. I've heard good things about Ogallala. I've heard that it's a really nice ladder and soap. Oh, there's the scent now. Whoa. Instant. As soon as I put the water on there, the scent just started exploding. Right, let's do the tips again. And again. I'm not sure how thirsty this soap is, first time I've been using, so let's just see what amount of water it needs. Oh, that was a good dip that one. It's definitely starting to thicken up nice. Beautiful clovey bay rum scent. Big dip. 
I'm not sure if there's enough in the brush, <laughs> but there might be for some more parties. Oh, that looks okay. It's not. It's not very aerated, but it doesn't look. I don't know. Can't put my finger on it. it. Doesn't look very glossy, and it looks like it's possibly even dissipating. I'll be able to tell more when I do my face shave with it. Just what the lather's like. I can never really tell with a head shave. I should really start it with a face shave. Because if it wasn't that great on my face shave, I would probably just have done a, a um, head shave with it. Uh, just a face shave with it and then did something else on my head. Right. Mueller R41. Kai Blade 10th use. And I'm not using this. This is more of an experiment now to see how far it goes. But I'm using it more so because it's still smooth and it's still sharp. I wouldn't use the blade if it was shit and it was tugging here and it was causing me issues. I would stop using it straight away and put a brand new blade in. Let's dip it in the water and with the grain first. So I've got five head, four head shaves so far on this blade and four face shaves, which is more than any other blade by, a, by an absolute country mile. I am expecting to cut myself here because I've got a spot, a couple of little spots there. So. so far, it feels really good. I've had a few people comment saying, well, just replace your blade every few times, every few shaves. And I totally agree with them. But no, no issue whatsoever with that. I think for the price of them, you can choose them. These here are pretty much to me two to three times the price of a feather blade. If not, maybe even a little bit more than that. Depending where I get them from. But I haven't got any yet. But like I keep saying to everyone, I'm not doing this to prove a point. I'm doing this because it's shaving well. And I wouldn't use it if it wasn't. I would just chuck it in the bin and start with a new blade. But this is the blade that keeps on giving. It's, uh, Thing I will say with the soap, it does not like cold water at all, as you can see, it's just blocking up ridiculously. So that's a big turn off for me. That tells me that it's far too much oils in it. It does have sunflower oil in it, it's got a few other different oils castor oil. The more oils, the less it'll deal with the cold water. Yeah, it's, uh, very oily stuff, which is good for slickness. It's probably good for post shave properties as well, but it's not great if you're a cold water shaver. So that's one thing I've learned from it so far. I wouldn't say it's necessarily impeding the blade itself. I mean, it's coming out a little bit, but it's not coming out great. Right, I'm just going to turn around so you guys can sort of see what happens on the back of the head. I don't know how dark this is today, it looks really dark. I've got no idea if that's in it, but that looks better to me, but it could be because the light's blinding me. I'm going to go with that. It looks a little bit more natural, but it's still dark. It's so sunny out here today. Right, so here we go. Just 
definitely a thick protective lather. It's going to take me ages to shave today though with this, this lather's just clogging up my razor. But it's definitely protective. Like I've already took the soap off there, which I have. No, I said I would show you the bar. I just try to I'm going to turn around and do this, I suppose. I'm just taking a bit more hair off because it's not taking much off. I think the lather's too thick. Razor under some hot water. You can see that's that's cleaned the razor out straight away. The hot water. I might just go with hot water in the sink today. I know it's not my thing, but. Beautiful scent on this soap, it really is nice. Right. And it does lather really well. Obviously get quite the scent scent's really strong now. The scent is easily and it's obviously not under my nose, it's above, but the scent I would say is up around about a seven. Which is sort of the sort of scent strings that I like. But to say it's quite a clovey scent, I'm not getting any irritation at the moment. But I don't feel irritation quite as much on my head either. So, I hope everyone's having a good Easter. The kids got up this morning, did their Easter hunt. I'm just going to dip the tips here because it's a little bit, little bit dry. Kids have been up and done their Easter hunt, they've eaten about 15 eggs each now, so they've almost burnt themselves out. Too much bloody, too much sugar. Right, Kai Blade 10th use R41 against the green. Absolutely amazing. And I know there's people out there watching this thinking, oh, a lot of shit. <laughs> there's no way he's using that same blade. I can tell you right now, it's the same blade. Ten shaves, five full head shaves, and five full face shaves on this blade so far. Not, but not yet, I haven't finished the shave yet. I'm actually quite enjoying this little bit of hot water in here for a change, just somewhat a bit different. Slickness is so got to say. Oh, I'm 
bigger rate of lather over it. It looks like it's just dried out a little bit. But yeah, scent's beautiful. Look at that orange really goes nice with the bay rum. The slickness is really nice, I can feel it's like really moisturising. Right, here we go, against the grain on the back. I think I ran out, ran out a ladder there, I think. Tell you what, superb, superb slickness on the salt, superb blade. Right, third and final pass. Really impressed with this ladder, really impressed with the salt. Smells great, comes in a stick, great for travel. I'll probably take this with me now when I travel. And it works really, really well. Yeah, the slickness on the soap is really, really good. I'm not sure if Ogallala is a artisan soap maker because I didn't really look into it too much. I just heard of the name before. 
and I just pulled the trigger on my god. It was actually part of a group buy that I was involved in. You know something, this blade feels smoother now than it did after the sort of second and third shave, but it still feels so sharp. I'm just doing my crown there. And as you can see, the slickness of the soap is superb. It feels silky smooth. Very few soaps do I feel this comfortable with, so it's testament. I would say it most likely is an artisan soap because you don't really get this slickness in my opinion from mass produced stuff. Very few things that I've used so far. But just this sort of superb slickness. I don't feel like I'm going to cut myself with this razor, with this slickness. Absolutely superb. What a blade. What a rate. Got bloody wife's hairs everywhere. BBS, post shave fuel, is really, really good. The post shave's as good as anything I've had, actually. It feels superb. Right, I'm just going to finish off at the moment with this because I'm going to finish my full shave off my face and then I'll finish off my head and my face with my final products. But I'm just going to put a bit of the There's Medicated on just now for that clove to go over the bay rum and it'll just help soothe the skin, which feels superb, no irritation. No cuts, no nicks, no bumps that I know of. You guys might see some on the back. But I'm not feeling nothing, which is good. Okay, thanks very much for tuning in guys. I am going to go wash out this brush. In fact, just before, well, not matter. You know what I've used. I'll catch you guys next time in the next shave, which will be in two minutes' time. We'll see you then. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.